Well, if you're looking for something new, then how about a yoga story walk? So we are now joined by Elizabeth Griffin, youth librarian from the Lowell District Library to explain this unique event. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. All right, well, let's talk about what exactly is this yoga story walk? <laughs> Sure. Well, it's the latest story walk that we have going on in a series that we've been doing actually since last June. And uh, each one is a different children's picture book where we've taken apart the pages and then posted them on signs along a trail or a path or in a park. And our latest one is a yoga themed book called You Are a Lion. And it is out this week at uh, East Grand River Park right here in Grand Haven. And so um, as you read the book, you can also try out all the different yoga moves and see if you can be all the animals. Oh, that's fun. So what that's has the cool. reaction um, been from families, you know, who have gone out and tried this? Yeah, so overall, our story walks have been very popular. The reaction that we've gotten most is that people just want to see more of them. And so we um, are doing two a month all through the spring, through the summer, hopefully into fall, and just trying to expand them all over our service area here in Grand Haven. And of course, I know that the library gets awfully busy when summer comes. Kids are out of school and they're, they want to find books and all that. What kind of programs do you have set up for the summer? Sure. So we will be starting our summer reading program, our summer reading club, which kicks off June 7th, although sign up is available right now, uh, where you can read and get prizes. We're actually just keeping track of the days you read, so trying to build a reading habit. We're also going to have fun events here at the library and also virtually. And obviously, you know, over this past year, you guys have had to adapt and change the way you do things. But, you know, now that things are opening up more, do you think that people um, are realizing just how important it is and how, you know, they want to make sure they take advantage of the library, maybe, you know, like they haven't before? Um, definitely. People have been very excited to get back into the library to be able to browse. We've offered curbside even when we've been closed. And so we've been able to still provide library services that way. Uh, we've also had online programs, but yeah, people are very excited to be able to come in, pick out their own books, and hopefully be coming back to some programs in the future. And if uh, people want to participate in the, in the walks, do they have to sign up for that, or is that just to show up? It's just to show up. So it's on your own time. We have them up for a week. So typically they start on a Monday and they run through Sunday evening. So this yoga one will be up um, until Sunday at 5, and so they can do it on on their own time at their own pace so it's a really nice socially distanced option where people can get out and get some exercise and read a book and have some fun.